All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody's enjoying this lovely Monday. Had a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully, everybody, good to see you, Chuck. Good to see you, Phil. Lita, everybody. Good to see you. everyone here on YouTube and Facebook Live, too. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Well, it looks like we got a nice little runner going on right now with CAAS. But let me tell you something. I probably had the best loss of 2020. And I wait, and I'm going to show it to you. It's going to blow your mind. And you know what? Remember, we always tell you here at Cybertrain Versity, it's not about the winners. It's about the losers. You have to know that when you lose money, there's times to know when to take a loss. Let me tell you something. I took the best loss that I probably, like I said, I, 2020, maybe even further. But we'll go back. We'll check it back in a little bit. But before we do that, let's just go and talk about what happened on Friday. Um, we had a couple of nice moving stocks. Obviously, for some of you never traded on a Friday, the day after Thanksgiving here in the United States, you can see what kind of trading it is. It's a it's it's a short day. It's a half day. We only get about, I think, it's three of those. And then we get one for New Year's. Uh, we get one for uh, Good Friday. Anything when there's a, 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 you know, after a major holiday. But, um, but it was a pretty nice little day. And we had a couple of nice little movers. I mean, I'll tell you, the... Uh, uh, all the pot stocks exploded, exploded. Uh, what was the news? Possible, um, just looking over here, uh, possible uh, federal legalization to all pot. I mean, listen, let me tell you, the government needs money. You know, I mean, they're going to do whatever they can. And and you know what? As traders, you probably, some of you might think that's the worst thing that could happen to society. Some of you might think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But you know what? And some of you, like, as traders like me, like, you know what? <laughs> Who just hate traders? You know, I'm just a day trader, and I'm just going to trade the damn thing and make money with it. But we're going to keep an eye on that. Also, we're going to keep an eye on Bitcoin, some stocks, uh, some of the uh, blockchain stocks are doing pretty well. But uh, but let's talk about what happened on Friday. Uh, a couple of stocks. I want to talk about f -Cell. So f -Cell, oops. Bring that up here. So f -Cell had a really, really nice move. She's up again this morning. She took a little bit of a hit, but you could see this stock, obviously, just been on a really, really nice tear for us. Uh, I mean, it's a great company. They got great news that's out, out on it. And I'll be hearing more about it on TV. They're talking about it uh, with, their, with their stations that they're running. But you know what? That was an actual pretty nice run for a, for a Friday. What else do we have also? Um, ACB. It was moving this morning, but then all of a sudden, she started backing off. And uh, let me just bring that up over here. You could see that ACV right there around 12 o'clock. Just went from 9 to almost about 11. And she gapped up again this morning. But then she started to trend down. So, you know, she will make the watch list, okay? Um, it's not on the A list. It's going to be on the B list. A, C, B, C. All right. So we got that one, too. We're going to put that one on the watch list. Uh, T, L, R, Y is another one. You can see that one too. Nice little pop, seven to nine. Uh, CGC. Listen, I always tell you this. You're going to trade these stocks again. They're going to come back. You know, CGC, you can see the stock was about a 15. It's already at 29. You're going to trade them again. And and we know when this was even bigger. If we go back in history, and let me just do monthly. I mean, you remember this back in 18. These days went from five to 55. So, I mean, listen, you had those waves. I remember the big thing. I know we have a lot of Canadians in this in, in this cyber group room, but I know they legalized it across the whole country, you know? And that was like, I guess it was back then when it, when it came out. I don't think it really made a big impact on the market, but um, but once again, it, it definitely has a lot to do with it. And they're going to keep, listen, they're going to keep pushing that envelope. I think I told you this. I was in um, Las Vegas for a trader's, uh, for an expo that was doing a presentation. And as I was there for that week, they were having the pot convention and it, I, I couldn't believe it. It was a thousand dollars to get into the door, thousand dollars. And it had 30,000 people in there, 30,000. So, you know, you know, sometimes you like, maybe you go to the, the, uh, the traders expo. You probably see me there. If you talk the money show, they don't charge you to walk in the door. All right. So you would think like you would have 300,000 people there. They can't even get 500 people. The pot convention, they charged a thousand, and they had thirty thousand people. That's how much of a demand that that was. That totally blew my mind. I'm like, what? Everyone was talking to. I'm here. I'm here for the pot convention. Funny part is when I all met back at the hotel, they were all stoned, which I thought was hysterical. But um, listen, money's money, right? So let's go back into the trading, see what's going on. We've got a couple of the stocks here. We're gonna move on, and uh, let me see what we got going on. So we, we know we trade last week. Let's talk about this morning.
Let me first start off talking about the best loss that I had for 2020. Nikola, okay? This stock came out with news. And I don't know what the news... I mean, Josh, what was the news? I think you told me, Josh. It was all the way up here. Something about... Uh, where is it? He had it up here just a little bit earlier. Under MIU, Nikola and GM will work together to integrate GM's hydro, uh, Hydrotech fuel cell technology into Nikola's Class 7 and Class 8 zero emission semi truck for medium and long term whole truck sectors. Okay, so that made the stock. You could see it right here. You could see that stock literally just, just that news alone. Let me just change this so you can see a little bit better. Made the stock pop from 26 all the way to 40. Now, let me tell you something. I sold this stock on Friday. Uh, was it Friday or Thursday? Let me just double check. Yeah, I sold it on Friday, okay? And I got out right around $30. You know, the stock was, was on a really nice tear. It was doing great, but she just kept going down and down and down. Um, it wasn't really going anywhere. I'm like, you know what? I was doing great. The stock was almost at 40. So I'm like, whatever. But I owned it at 22, okay? So it was fine. So I made, I, I could have made a lot more. I'm a big fan of it. I'm like, you know what's breaking lower lows. I moved my money to, you know, my swing. This state, this is swing trade, not day trading. I, you know, I, I bought the Pinterest. I bought the uh, Chewy. Uh, what else did I get? Um, DraftKings. Once it broke 50. Okay. So big fans of that. But anyway, I go back. I look at this stock and I'm like, news came out. I'm like 40. I'm like, crap. I mean, how many times did that happen to you? You're like, as soon as you sell, the thing takes off, right? And remember, it's not like they're watching us, I tell you. Just that just news came out. Then I look at it. So I traded it. I bought it in pre-market, okay? I bought it right around $30 when it came down. I'm like, wow, this thing is really coming down. You know, but you know, the news is great. So I bought it right back where I, I owned it at. And I sold it for 29 and a half. So I lost about, give or take, 50 cents. 50, remember the 30-second rule, a 50-cent loss, right? Okay, you think I'm proud to say that? You know, listen, we lose, okay? We lose. Well, look where it is right now, 2190, okay? And the market's not opened up. Could you imagine owning the stock right now at $31, at, at, uh, at $30 and, and selling it for a 50 cent loss? And like, oh man, because some of you look at it. And by the way, we're doing phase three tomorrow. So don't forget the only cyber trader students. Um, and then sit back and look at it like, wow. That was a pretty damn good loss. You don't really ever hear people talk about that, but that was a pretty good damn loss right there because that, you know, 50 cent loss would have been literally now a $9 loss. Now, if you owned a thousand shares of that stock, a thousand shares, okay? Because you look at it, say 22, thousand shares, okay? $500, a lot of money, a lot of money, right? 9,000, you got a serious problem, okay? And losing it that short, that's why... You have to surround yourself with good traders. And that's why for some people on YouTube and Facebook Live watching this too, you guys don't understand that when you're part of a team, you know what I mean? We make, mo we make money together. We lose money together. And losing money together is a smart thing because if you don't have prof uh, professional, successful traders behind you, like, hey, listen, guys, we're going to have to jump ship. Like, but I can't. I just bought the boat. I don't want it. The boat's sinking. I, I, well, maybe we could take the water out. No, you know what? The boat's sinking. We're getting out. You want to die with this ship? Go right ahead. You want? I know captains are the last one to leave. You know, you worried about it. I'm going to worry about myself. Because at the end of the day, that's where it comes down to it. But anyway, it was a great loss. And I'd love to share it with you. So that was good. So anyway, I'm not looking back at it. Um, it's definitely going to be volatile today. Because it does have support levels, though. It's coming up right to where we owned it at. I want to keep an eye on that. So it is going on the A-list. Another stock that's going on the A-list is what a lot of you traded this morning, which is probably the best, easiest stock so far, which was the CAAS. This stock went up really nicely right around 8 o'clock this morning, $5. It, 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 at at 8.30, it did its little shake around 7, and then look where it went. It went to about 7.50, started back off. So you know what? It was pretty good for a good 50-cent move for some of us. You could have did pretty well on that stock. I like that stock. It's going back on the watch list. You could, And the funny part is, when you look at the chart on the long term, it really hasn't been going anywhere. It just recently just popped right now. So that seems like a very interesting stock. And by the way, keep it's a it's a Chinese automotive system, which obviously have been hot. Remember, NEO, we've done really well with. E-L-Y-S, another one that's going on the A-list. Stock had a nice little pop, great volume, 400,000, 16%. Nice little trench, kind of flat line right here. We all know what happens when these stocks open up.
Uh, they do pop. Mara, we all know Mara, M-A-R-A, -A, another stock that's moving really nicely. We traded it less than about two weeks ago. Stock went from two to six dollars. Guess what? She got a nice little gap up this morning. 1.6 million shares. Look at these iceberg orders. You got a 10,000 share seller right now at 525, which kind of explains that resistance level, which it just hit. Let's see if that guy gets taken out. But iceberg orders are what's key. Remember, you have to follow the money side of traders. A two more stocks I want to keep an eye on in the A list. I want to keep an eye on the list on Riot because Riot obviously is making a little bit of a move. It took a little bit of a hit right now, but she's getting close to that resistance levels. Go back the last couple of days. You could use those support resistance levels, but follow the money. Just be careful. We traded Riot a lot. We know the stock is volatile, so we want to keep an eye on that. And also, like I said, Mara, okay? Stock's up. Same thing. You know, took a little bit of a hit. Let's keep a close eye on that. Now, on, on the B list, okay, SPCB. Now, remember, remember the B list. And for some of you, remember, uh, you being here, and if you're new here to uh, YouTube or Facebook or you're new as a trial member, log into the room today. Uh, a lot of these stocks that go from the B list and they've shown up in an A list. It might be flat right now, but all of a sudden, boom, these things take off. And, and actually, some of the A list stocks might flip and go into a C list. And uh, you won't know until the market opens them up. But this, from what we could see and what I, from experience, this is what we have to kind of work upon. But I'm going to show you the B list. SP, CB, nice move up 78%, but she's just trending down. I'm not a big fan of stocks up really big in pre-market that much. So that probably explains why it's trending down. 11 million shares already trade. That's a lot. SNSS, another one right here. Up 43%. Nice cheap stock very nice spread but it's an algorithm stock okay a lot of a lot of orders out there look at level three on the right you could see it there but she is moving pretty nicely just in a matter of the past 15 minutes the stock bounced about 15 cents 15 cents some of you guys don't realize it on a thousand shares a two thousand dollar investment is 150 bucks you know it's it adds up it adds up it's a lot of money don't 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 discourage that all right don't be fooled by seeing people oh i made ten thousand fifty thousand you know what someone's happy just making a day's pay OPMP, another stock up 23%, 1.8 million shares. Look at this stock on a tear it had in the long term. Ran from 260 all the way to $5. Okay. She's right back at its resistance. Huge winner, um, you know, in the last couple of days. If you look over here and we change the chart, you could see how that stock had a really nice winner. That was one of the stocks I forgot to mention on Friday that we uh, that you guys traded. But that stock had a really, really nice move also. Okay. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. That one went, made it back on the watch list. Uh, APTX, up 15%. I might throw this on the A-list now. Looks like it's got a nice little trend. It's got a big resistance. Big iceberg orders are hovering. You can see the 10,000 share seller at 16.65. Uh, basically, it's been having a tough time since 8.30 this morning. Eight, actually, 8.15 breaking it. That guy gets done. The stock is going up. All right, so keep a close eye on that one. What else we got? We got two more. We got Fran. You all know Fran very well. We trade this stock in the, in the past. Down 35%. Stocks get hammered. Maybe we'll get a little bottom fish on this to see if it tests the major support levels. And uh, we got well, all the uh, all the uh, pot stocks. Don't put that on the watch list. Now, um, Josh has said just in the trading room, um, for some of you on YouTube probably not seeing this, but Work just had a big pop. Let's bring it up right there. So Work looks like it's got a Fausto flag, everyone. 40 to 45, that's going on the A-list. Okay, just remember, Work is a very brand name, fast-moving stock. So be very, very careful that stock, all right? So um, Work obviously looks pretty interesting right there. Uh, Josh is saying basically otherwise there's no news on on work on Benzinga so we're gonna keep an eye on that one too anything else I'm missing uh Lita's saying PLTR is dropping uh below 28. listen that PLTR has been having such a great run we did really really well with that remember what I always tell you whatever goes up comes down twice as fast you don't like stocks going up so fast this company just went public okay so it is making lower lows as a swing trade I would be very concerned right now you know but you had a really nice run Stock was at 32, you know, started backing off a little bit 
on Friday. You know, so listen, it, that's a pretty, you know, listen, you want to be a good swing trader? You got to damn understand what's happening as a day trader. All right, uh, Chewy says it's filling in highs. Yeah, you know what? And that's one of the reasons why I jumped into Chewy. When when the stock breaks all-time highs, like Pinterest and everything else, some of us are gonna be like, damn, I could have bought it, should I buy it now? Listen, remember what you learned as a student here at Cybertrain University, we talk about this in phase three. When you break all-time highs, when you break through that ceiling, where's the resistance? There isn't any, it's an uncharted territories. So it's gonna be dealing with nobody to prevent it from going higher other than people like us trying to take a profit. So the short squeeze could kick in when it, hap when it happens and all that good stuff. But listen, you're seeing what's happening here with the virus that's going on. Yes, there's a vaccine coming out, but yes, now you're talking about Fauci's talking about we should cancel Christmas. OK, so you're seeing a lot of these people, you know, that if you, you know, they, sec they say the second wave is worse than the first wave. We're going into the second wave. We all know about the Spanish flu. All these all these governors want to shut down, you know, um, shut down uh, their, their city. So, you know what? Regardless about what they're going to do. We all know what happened back in March, all right, in April, and just trade it the way it is. You know what? The way I look at it, if they do shut out the market, for what I remember what happened, and we all remember trading back then, the market will crash. Some stocks will, maybe the market might not crash this time, but some stocks will get crushed, and some stocks are going to um, profit from it. So let's keep a close eye on that. So you post an article that dealing with Salesforce, expect to announce tomorrow after close. Uh, Salesforce is just an animal. You know, we use a system very similar to it, but you know what? That's what's going to end up happening. Everything's going to be coming online. So Salesforce is a unbelievable company. Uh, it's also $120 a user. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Sorry we're talking a little bit. We got uh, a little over. We got, we got 10 minutes. Don't forget to register. Here we have our Cyber Expo on Thursday. We got three, uh, or I think even four great speakers. Go to our website, make sure you register, and don't forget, Black Friday, Friday is expiring and Cyber Monday starts today. So go out there and take all that great money. Go get your clock. Go get your mouse pad. You know, go go do what you got to get. get. Get these things. You need this. It's going to save you thousands. Go out there and get what you need. Buy those tools, those features that you need, and, uh, you know, do those trials. If you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook Live, go out there and, you know, sample it, buy it. You know, the worst thing could happen is you learn something or maybe you might like it and make some money doing it. So don't waste that time. In the meantime, cyber traders will be starting commentary in the next few minutes, okay? So don't go anywhere. Go fill up your coffees. We'll get started. See you back here at 2.30.